Hey students, Eric Maggotson here. I wanted to create a solution video for the pretty challenging uh, project steps that I gave you to create a PERT CPM chart for. And I want you to know that if you don't agree with my results, please challenge me because I'm human. I may have made a mistake in my process, in which case, if you have a different result that you can support, I may have to remake this video, and in which case I will, but I'm pretty sure this is the solution. And I'm also wondering how many of you noticed the faux pas in the, in the steps that I gave you, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Now, first of all, I'm doing this in Excel, and what you'll notice is that if I do a control tilde, you'll notice I'm doing some math in here, okay, and I'm gonna explain that math. Okay, so let's go through this. First of all, um, it says review web application project proposal with technical review committee five days. So it's gonna take five days to get them together. Now notice, I'm starting the project on day one and you always gotta remember that the first day is a day we can work on the project. So most people would say, okay, if it's five days, then one plus five is six. But remember, I can work on day one. So if I do this with my fingers and my thumb is day one and I go through one, two, three, four, five, I see that five days only takes five days. So in fact, it is only five days. Now what that means is I can't start a task on the same day I end a task. So I've got to add one day. So you see, I finished on day five. I'm starting the next two things on day six. Let's look at those. It says once approval has been granted, so we know this has to complete before I can start anything else. It says you can formulate the project team, okay? It also says while conducting step two or task two, you can also prepare project budget. So we can do both of these at the same time. You'll notice that formulating project team is five days, but in fact, preparing project budget for CFO approval is 12 days. So notice what I'm doing here. I'm basically doing some math, if you notice here, that's taking my start day plus the number of days minus one day. So it's gonna be 10 days. Again, if you do this with your fingers starting with day six and you count six, seven, eight, nine, ten you actually find that you've worked five days finishing on the 10th day. So hopefully that is clear to you. If not, let me know and I'll explain it in detail offline. So here we are again. And this time my, finish, my longest finish day is 17. So I'm gonna start my next task on 18. And it says, after the budget is approved. Now it just so happens that the budget is the longest day between these two tasks, right? The longest days. So I know that I'm gonna actually start this when this is finished, thus 18. So it says assign team members to future tasks. Well, that only takes two days. 18 plus two is 20, minus one is 19. So I'll finish that on the 19th day, okay? Now, continuing on, Five says, once assignments have been made, someone order hardware for internal application support. So we know we're gonna be able to start this ordering of hardware and that's gonna start on the 20th day. It says at the same time as ordering hardware, another team member can be gathering data and report requirements. So here's that. Now notice 20 days for here, 25 days for here. We do the math and we move on. It says at the same time as gathering data, which is also at the same time as ordering, we can go ahead and determine user interface requirements. That's 15 days. And it says while ordering hardware, which since these are all being done together while ordering hardware, another team member can research Azure server integration five days. So as we look at all of this, we know that our longest day is 25 days, our longest task is 25 days. And thus we take 20 plus 25, which is 45 minus one, and we get 44. I'm gonna move this all the way down here so I don't have to move it each time. Now at 44, 
right? Which was research Azure. Then it says only after gathering data and report requirements are done. Now after gathering data and report requirements. So if you notice that happens to be again, our longest days through these consecutive tasks. So we know we're gonna start on 45 days, right? And it says only then can we finalize requirements interface integration plan of 18 days. Now notice all of these are put together with 18 days, okay? You could technically break these down into three different projects if you wanted to. I have left it as one project, 18 days, just to give you an example. It says once the plan is approved, work can begin to program database. Now notice now I've got different days, 45 days, program user interface, 62 days, and prepare hardware, five days. So I've put those all as individual tasks, okay? And as I assess that, I see that my longest duration through these tasks is in fact the 62 days it takes to program the interface. Thus, I can't start anything else until the 124th day, right? And then we move on from there. However, notice what it says here. It says, after preparing hardware is complete, another team member can construct Azure environment. So although this seems to be our longest time through, we realize that we don't have to wait to do the construct Azure environment until after the program interface. We just have to wait till the hardware's up. So once the hardware's up at day 67, we can begin this at day 68. So that might have been a challenge to you all. And that's why we need to be able to read and assess very carefully. Okay, so another team can construct Azure environment. We see that, we're gonna move on from that. So there's our construct Azure environment, 68. It's gonna take 20 days. Add those, it's 88, minus one is 87. Construct Azure environment, then 13. Whoops, sorry about that. Come on. Then 13 says, once when all of the above tasks have been completed, we can populate, oops, sorry, I think I'm missing one. There we go, construct. It says once both preparing hardware and construct Azure environment is completed, the task of linking local hardware with Azure can take place. So we're gonna link local hardware with Azure. That's gonna be 14 days. Do the math. Then once when all of the above tasks have been completed, we can populate the database and user interface takes place. Populate the database and and interface. Now, some of you may have caught this error in the fact that if we go back just a little bit, we see that this would complete on 67. This is going to take 124. Well, if I start populating the database and interface at 119, there's a problem because Although the program database will be done, you notice it's gonna be done on the 107th day. So we're, we're gonna start this, oh, wait a minute, we're gonna start this on the 102nd day? That's not gonna work. And we're gonna start this, if you notice, on the 102nd day, but this isn't done till the 124th day. So consequently, we cannot do this. We can do this and this, but we in fact can't start this until this is complete. So hopefully you caught that error. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna move these down. I'm gonna move this down and I'm gonna change this day and watch as I do this because I've done this math this is now going to become the 125th day and watch all my days change. Okay. So this is what's called a stem. And in fact, we're going to get rid of this 
we're going to make this our critical path. And then we're going to change this to a stem or what I've heard it referred to as a detour. But if you notice, we still are going to link that back together to here. Now the reason we can do this is if you notice, we're going to complete this on the 101st day. But in fact, we can't start this. We've got some time that we have to wait. Okay. Now we might be able to, to jump back, do some do some uh, quality control, do some testing, some initial testing, do some things here that might be important. Of course, this is not a complete detail, right? But so now populate is complete. We can system test and debug. So we can system test and debug after populating is complete simultaneously task of create user training module. So we can do the, these two. Now here's the interesting thing. We're back sort of on track, if you will, in that this one is gonna take 23 days. This one's gonna take 35. So again, our longest path is gonna be 177. Okay, so there's that critical path. Up into after that, right, next, user training can begin, 10 days. Next tells us, well, guess what? We can't do any of this until then. So we wait the 177 on 178. We start 10 days of training. Now, this may actually go longer. Sometimes, okay, we will have a task that goes long and we start other tasks. That's what we saw here is we were able to continue on with some other tasks waiting for this to complete. So now let's go ahead and finish up our program. So once begin user training takes place, after user training, the new system can go into parallel beta operation and final debug. Now notice this time, because it's listed as two, I listed it as two tasks, okay? And I almost prefer this than having one task with multiple, one task box with multiple tasks. But notice either of these can be our critical path because they're exactly the same days, okay? So we note that, notice here, 19 and 20. It can be 19 or 20. Finally, as we finish off the project, we are going to make the system operational, I should give that a better name, um, of 90 days and only after those 90 days can we finalize the project and do a system audit, okay? So system operational, this should actually say um, finalize project and audit, okay? And audit project. So there we are. So we can see that here, our finished day or the longest time, our critical path, which is the longest time through our project is 322 days. Now our critical path needs to change from what I did here. Because if you notice, I had 12 and then I went 13, 14, right? Now it's actually gonna go 11 from 11 to 15. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back here. It goes from 11, we had 12. See the 12? That was our critical path. So now we're gonna do 11 to 15. So we're gonna change the 12 right here to an 11. We're gonna delete 13 and 14 because those can be done, but we still have to wait right, to start 15, our critical path. 
Then from 15, it's going to go to 17, 18, 19, or 20. 17, 18, 19, or 20, 21, and 22. And folks, that is the critical path and the PERT CPM chart for this small project. Take care.